so they don't naturally. If you're going to have a huge wide release with the stars, you'll put them front and center. Oftentimes, we'll focus on a, a cool image, an iconic image, just to sell that as the driving point of your campaign. We wanted to really bridge the gap between the Punisher comic book and the Punisher yeah, release. What better way than to have him rendered in that gritty, dark style that Tim Braxton does best? It's all about the iconic and the lighting and, you know, making this guy look like a complete badass, you know. And, of course, for people that are familiar with my work, they know that this is not a stretch for me. <laughs> because it's what I did on the covers for about 30 issues. Frank and Skull. Really what we want to sell is largely Tom as the Punisher and this wounded, but enraged and dangerous guy. We just kept seeing all the attitude we were looking for in the Punisher in the Eric needs from Lionsgate was the guy who started the whole thing because he's such a Punisher fan. We discussed initially that Tim would create a teaser poster sketched in his own photorealistic, gritty style that would be aimed primarily at the comics community and the genre community. A lot of the look of the movie emulated or was inspired by Tim's art. So it made sense that we used Tim's art to represent the movie to audiences. By me doing my version of Jane as the Punisher, we're showing the fans that we respect the material. My basic approach to art is uh, based in photography. Once I find that best shot, then that's what the, the rest of the piece comes alive around it. Then I do my interpretation of that photo on my kind of vellum paper to really breathe life into it beyond the photograph and to really make it sing beyond the concept is, uh, I think, really an influence of the piece and how I translate it from there. I just try to take all these elements and tie them into one image that tells the story. So I like to show the moment before the action or after the action, but I don't really like to show the action. Tim had an assortment of weapons in 16 all the way down to practically a rocket launcher. And just set up a photo shoot with Tom Jane in full costume as the Punisher and just got a series of dynamic poses that really drove home the core of the character. I pretty much approached it like I do any other photo shoot. We had everything. We had all the props for the costume. Custom 45s with the custom mobile brakes. And these 45s were effective. Mostly it's just getting, you know, the chin to the lighting so that the, you get the cut across the cheek or, you know, the eyes are cool the shadow. Kind of the things that I'd like to enjoy with my regular comic covers and just apply it to Tom Day and his character. As a fan of posters, I see a lot that goes on and it's an art form that is very infested. When something works, it tends to get repeated on a lot of different projects. So I really wanted to come from a different angle on it and do it with sepia, straight black and white, going for like a maximum pop. And then also very realistic colors for some of but toned down. Tim was doing posters that were going to be in comic book stores and would be promotional items. Ultimately, they just started progressing with these great cinematic one sheets. It just kept getting better, and uh, theatrical forces, my God, you know, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll do one, yeah. Getting a chance to work on the posters is such a dream come true. I helped to redefine the character um, in the last couple of years for this generation, and the fact that I was able to contribute to the film and see my work up in movie theaters all over the place is I can't even tell you what gas that is. And I hope it continues.